Hi everybody, this is Heather from SisterWigs.com and today I'm bringing you a very frequent viewer, uh, viewer request. This one is Brianna by Envy and the color on this was one that I thought would look really gorgeous in this wig. This color is called Toasted Sesame and it's one of my favorite kind of in-between shades that has elements of a light brown as well as a blonde in it. And in fact, I actually think that this color makes a wonderful alternative to the Envy Light Brown. Because the Envy Light Brown by itself is made of two colors, and I think this is kind of important background info. The Envy Light Brown is made of two shades. I'm gonna try to scoot this back just a little bit so we can get all this in here. Um, the Envy Light Brown has a slightly red <laughs> um, light brown color and a golden light brown. And so those two together make the MV light brown. So that's why when you see an MV color that's got one of those two components in it, they can still say that it's got light brown in it, but could either run red or it could run gold. Um, and so the MV light brown looks almost like it's got highlights because it's got bits of that reddish light brown and the goldish light brown. Whereas this has a decidedly golden flavor to it. The bottom of this wig is actually the MV Medium Brown, which is pretty lovely. In the middle you see lots and lots of the more golden of the two MV Light Brown shades. And then right at the top you'll have lots of these number 24 Medium Golden Blonde highlights. And they really help bring out the most in these curls. So even though this isn't strictly an ombre pattern, it does accomplish a lot of the same things that an ombre pattern would, whereas, you know, it gets slightly darker as the hair cascades down in these little ringlet curls. This wig is really, 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 really pretty. <laughs> it's really pretty. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous wig, and it is what I consider an ultra long or a boob hugger. Um, definitely kind of goes that direction very long and I'll show you the back in just a second show you just how far down my back it goes um, the front on this one is 7.75 inches so it's almost at the the jaw here and then from the crown layer down so I mean it is layered <laughs> so it isn't just one continuous strand that goes down it's it's very heavily layered the top layer ends at about 14.25 inches which is around here and then the then that's at, at the in the back and the sides it's very similar they end right around here this is that layer and this is um, 15.5 inches and at the nape this will really tell you how long this wig is 17.75 inches at the nape so this is a long long wig and though it, I, I do want to point out because it is curled it doesn't wear like a 17.75 inch long wig wood. Um, it probably only goes down in wearable inches from the nape around 15. Let me double check that. And I'm not pulling on the hair to stretch it out here. Yeah, it's about 15 inches there. So wearable inches, about 15. We can put that on the record there. So this is a 5.9 ounce wig. It'll feel like six once you get your wig cap and everything on. Um, so that's quite heavy for a synthetic wig, but that's because you're getting an epic amount of hair with Brianna. There's lots of hair going on here. Tons and tons and tons of hair. And it's all very beautiful, and it's all that very silky, high-quality Envy fiber. Now, I do want to suggest a product. I usually don't peddle products during my reviews, but I do find that when it comes to curly wigs, even though you're not brushing them a lot, they, especially these longer styles, they still rub up against the back of your shirt and they get caught in the door and all kinds of things happen to them. So it's really nice to use this, which was actually made specifically for Envy hair. Um, it's called Renew and Repair. It's Envy's own brand of glosser spray. I love this stuff on wigs like this because a little bit just helps coat the ringlets so that they don't get static on them but a little bit goes a long way and you just kind of run it through really gently and it helps kind of reinforce those curls a little bit too so that they stay really nice and uniform and silky and if you get any flyaways at the top this will tame that this stuff has argan oil in it so you definitely don't want to use a lot of it just a little bit on the tips like what I'm doing here and just kind of work it through with your fingers 
and that'll help prolong the life of a wig that's long and curly like Brianna while helping to define the curls. And this stuff also works really well on bio hair. That's why this bottle is, is down so low. It's because I'm using it on my bio hair um, as kind of like a detangler. But it's, it's a nice product. Um, and I, you know, most wigs don't require that extra step, but I do think with something this long, it's prudent to, to pick something like that up. Um, or maybe just a leave-in synthetic friendly conditioner, but just something to help reinforce those curls so that they stay really nice and don't get all frizzy from rubbing up against your back. So just food for thought. I'm going to go ahead and show you the sides now. This is what Brianna looks like um, when all the hair is pushed back and when the hair is pushed forward. You can kind of see some of those layers now that I'm turned to the side. And then I'm going to try to get all this stuff into the shot so you can see it. So here's the back of this wig. I'm going to try to move around a little bit. It's like princess hair. <laughs> I feel like a princess with this hair. It's just very, very, very pretty. So now I'm going to take Brianna off so I can show you what the cap looks like. I'm going to fix my cap really quick. So she's got a 100% hand-tied monofilament top in addition to having a very nice, generous lace front. Now, MV lace fronts can be a little bit on the scratchy side. Um, so uh, one trick that I like to employ if they start bugging me, which these days hardly happens at all, you kind of get used to them after a bit. But if you're new to wig wear and you find any lace front wig to be scratchy, scalpacin. Get yourself some scalpacin and just put it right there where that is. Um, another thing that works kind of well is um, Origel, <laughs> but that's kind of like the nuclear option because it'll make your forehead numb. Um, but the back of this wig is very, very stretchy and it is adjustable kind of like the way a bra would be. It has lace here in the back and there are hairs sewn into this. So when they count that neat measurement, they are counting it from, from here. And then the lace front on this is quite nice. I'll, I'll show you when I put it back on. Um, and there isn't felt on this at the ear tabs or at the nape, but that's all right. It, that, that sort of thing doesn't really offend me very much because I've got a wig cap on underneath anyway, so. But it is something to note in case you've got a really sensitive scalp. But see, just putting this thing on, it wants to go right into place. And make sure that lace front is in the right place. Very pretty. Adequately dense lace front. There's the mono top, and you can part that in any direction you want. Definitely va va boom, sex kitten, princess hair. I swear that needs to be on a bumper sticker. Va va boom, sex kitten, princess. <laughs> oh, it's getting late, and I'm getting loopy, so I'm sorry about that. Um, anyhow, so this really gorgeous wig has been Brianna by Envy. And, uh, oh, and again, the color is Toasted Sesame, which is a really gorgeous shade that has a light brown, a medium brown, medium brown here at the, the, um, the roots, and then it also has a medium golden blonde highlight. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.